they are waiting look and the powers in the heavens will be shaken and they will see the son of man coming in the clouds so we people the christian people are waiting who the christian people are waiting for christ to come because according to the according to the christian world he died he was raised up i i read to you he raised up on the sky sitting on the right side right hand side of god and then now he is coming back so coming if jesus mentioned where in the bible 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 continue almaida 5 118 in tu adhibhum fa innahum ibaduk wa in taghfil lahum fa innaka antal azizul hakim isa peace be upon him is saying if you punish them they are your servants if you forgive them you are the exalted in power the wise the same day of judgment discussion is going on the same day of judgment day of judgment discussion is going on what is the now he says if you punish them who these people who are saying that jesus is god and mother mother is god mary is god to him jesus said if you punish them and the people who are saying is alive whatever people mankind is if you punish them you are they are your servants if you forgive them you are exalted and wise you know in the whole book quran again isa peace be upon him is the only messenger of god who is asking forgiveness for mankind mercy for mankind who is asking for forgiveness isa peace be upon him believe me only one messenger in mention the quran we are not christians remember this the label christian we are muslims submitting to allah who believe in isa peace be upon him who is asking for forgiveness he says in tu'adhibum fa innahum ibaduk if you punish them they are your son wa in taghfil lahum and if you forgive them fa innaka antal azizul hakim you are exalted in power and might now asking for forgiveness allah says there is one ayat that, that nobody can intercede in the in front in the nearness of allah except to whom the permission is granted you know this ayat ayat al kursi ha huh? ayat al kursi everybody knows wa ma yashfa'u indahu illa bi idni na illa bi idni illa bi wa ma yashfa'u wa ma yashfa'u indahu illa bi nobody can intercede in the presence of allah except to whom he permits intersection so who is interceding isa peace be upon him permission is granted he is bringing people from dead alive he can come back from dead alive he is also giving the permission to intercede permission is granted to jesus if you forgive them you are exalted in power and wise by intercession intercede intercede is asking but did allah listen if you believe this is the listen this is, he is the knowledge of the hour on that day what will happen everything we are reading on that day so the knowledge you can see today and take guidance so that you don't fall in that category if you remain calling him as son of god or god you are in problems because does if he asks for forgiveness does he forgive or not we will see in further but look at the bible the christian faith according to the bible matthew 7 22 and 23 many will say to me in that day that is the last day in the bible lord lord have we not prophesied in thy name and in thy name cast out devils and in thy name done many wonderful works and then will i profess unto them i never knew you depart from me you you that word iniquity iniquity you know what jesus saying in the bible all these christians you know who believe jesus lord god lord many many means the christian who's who's prophesizing jesus as jesus god lord so many christian that say god lord god will say to me on that day lord lord did we had we not prophesize in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of mama they can't do it astaghfirullah so they in the name of jesus had we not prophesized in thy name and in thy name cast out devils and in thy name done many wonderful works and then jesus said yes i will profess unto them i never knew you you depart from me get lost that you were iniquity 
Why Jesus saying to you Christians? Because you are taking his name and saying God incarnate. You are taking his name as son of God. You are putting a false charge on him. And in the Quran he is asking for your forgiveness. And in the Bible he is asking to get lost. Whom you would choose? Whom you would choose? Your Jesus Christ of the Bible is asking you to get lost to what you are saying in his name. And in the Quran he is asking for your forgiveness in spite of the fact you are calling him God. You are calling his mother as God. You are calling as son of God. The most, most horrendous thing to say in the name of God. Because you don't know God, the creator who cannot share anyone. You cannot share God with anyone. He is uncreated being. Because Jesus was created by Allah, can never be God. He was born, he died. How can he be God? God is non-creation, not created. He was not once upon a time born and he will not once upon a time die. That is not the character trait of God. It is not the attribute of Allah. He is Hayyul Qayyum. Hay means alive, Qayyum established. All the time he is alive. Not once upon a time he was born like Jesus and one upon, once upon a time he died. How can you give that attribute to Jesus? In Surah Nisa 4, 159. And there is no one from the people of the book except must believe with it before his own death and on the day of judgment. Isa will be a witness over them. So this is the time, brothers and sisters. We have got the book. Allah says, we have got the book. We have we all Muslims or whatever non this book is available in all parts of the world. The non-Muslims can read it. The Christians can, anybody can read it. And in the book, Allah said, there is no one from the people of the book, which, from the people of the people who believe in this book, except must believe with this, whatever I've read this about the ayahs, about Jesus' birth, about his death, about his whatever in the mention in the Quran, before his own death, he must know what is going, what Jesus is going to be questioned on the day of judgment. That did Jesus said to worship as God, to believe as God? No, no, you know, he didn't say that. So you must believe with it before his own death. I must believe before my death on the day of judgment because Esau will be a witness over me because he will say the truth. You understand? He will say the truth what I heard just, what you heard just now. He didn't say yes, I said, he said I was a witness. I did not, never said I said such a thing except what you, what you command me to say, what you ordered me to say, worship Allah, serve Allah, serve Allah who is my Lord and your Lord. And I was a witness while I live among them. When you cause me, you complete in my psyche or soul, you are the watcher. That is one cycle he said. He did not say. So these, uh, this we should believe today. There is no one from the people of the world except must believe with this. Before his own death, on the day of judgment, because he is the, he is the knowledge of that hour. So he says, on the day of judgment, Isa will be a witness over you, over them. If you don't believe like this. So Al-Maidah 5, 119 قال الله هذا يوم ينفع الصادقين صدقهم لهم جنات تجي من تحت الانهار خالدين فيها أبدا رضي الله عنهم ورضوا عنه ذلك الفوز العظيم and Allah will, sorry, Allah will say this is the day on which the truthful will profit from their truth from them are gardens with rivers flowing beneath their eternal uh, uh, flowing beneath their eternal home Allah is pleased with them and they are pleased with Allah this is a great success how can you be uh, how can a person will benefit on that day on the truthful will benefit from the truth because all the ayahs that I have recited they are truth the truthful ayahs the ayahs are all truth but what is the essence on that day of judgment what Jesus will say he will not say that, yes, worship me and my mother as gods. He never said that. So the truth you know now, on the day of judgment, he is the knowledge of that hour. What is going to happen? What is the question is going to put forward to him? His birth, his message, his death. I am reading now. So all is on the day of judgment also is there. So how you will understand from this truth, 
you will benefit the truth on the day of judgment so Allah say that this day on which the truthful who practice this truth who believe in the essence of the message of Allah from them are gardens with rivers flowing beneath their eternal, eternal home Allah is pleased with them and they are pleased with Allah this is a great success so now we we all pray that Allah guides every truth seeker to the truth these were the verses ayas related to his birth his message and his death I will read three ayahs in comparison with Christians and so what is the Christian belief and what is happening today in today also about Jesus Christ in this ayahs three four ayahs what is the concept of the prevailing I mean we don't have to learn Bible and the Christian psyche all human behavior is mentioned the ayahs of Allah how people behave if people reject the true essence or the personality of Jesus Christ as mentioned in the Quran the, the right personality the reject you will reject him and say these things Al-Ma'idah 572 Laqad <laughs> Rabbi wa Rabbakum Innahu man yushrik billah Faqad harram allahu alihi al-janna Wa ma'wahu al-nar Wa ma'li al-zalimina min ansar Without doubt those who reject Say Surely Masih Christ The son of Maryam is Allah Masih Christ Son of Maryam is God Allah God And Masih Christ said O children of Israel Serve Allah my Lord and your Lord Whosoever associate with Allah, so without doubt Allah will forbid the garden over him and the fire will be his abode and there will be no one to help for the oppressors. In this ayat, Allah says those who reject, they say the Christ, Masih Christ is God. Now in the world, there are people by the name of Protestants, Protestants. They say Christ is God. Jesus Christ is incarnate as God. Who say that? Protestants Christians. The Roman Catholics say that he is the son of God. This is another group of Christians. So one here in this ayah Allah said there are people. لَقَدْ كَفَرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ إِنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الْمَسِيحُ بْنُ مَرْيَمُ Allah said there are people who reject and say the that Christ Masih is Allah, God. Right? So you must find people who are saying Christ is God or not. There is people. If this rogue, if this protestant world stops saying that Christ is God, so this ayat will be wrong. So till the doomsday, till the end of the day, there will be people who will be saying Christ is God, Christ is God, Christ is God, Christ is because because the Quran says so. Because the Allah said they reject. Those who reject, they say that Christ is God. So I am asking, did Jesus Christ in his, according to biblical knowledge, because the Christians are saying, the Protestant people, Christians are saying that Christ is God. So I am asking the Protestant Christian, can you show me in the Bible, in the King James Version, that Christ or any version of the Bible, that Christ said, I am God, worship me. You understand? Simple because the Allah said that they are rejecting and saying that Christ is God. And Allah said, Jesus is the messenger of God. So now I am asking them, did Jesus said, I am God? Did Christ said, I am God? No, they say yes. Nearest to that, the statement is in the Christian point section. I, the nearest they come, they say, the Christian faith according to the Bible, John 10, 30, 31, 32 and 33. And believe me, every Christian will say, which I have come about, they say, yes, they, he said that. I said, well, I and my father are one. Can you, can you, can you, can you, can you, can you understand English? I and my father are one. This is English. Is that, it, 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 that, does it mean that I am God? Is that mean, is this the mean, I said, did he say I am God? 
I said, did Jesus said, I am God. I didn't say that I and my father, I and my son are one. Or I and my brother are one. Or I and my wife are one. I'm saying, did he say, did he say that I am God? Did he say I am Allah? And Allah, did Jesus say that? So he said, no, he said, I and my father are one. So now let us read the verses of the Bible. I and my father are one. So then the Jews took up stone again to stone him. No, you must understand the Jews are the enemy of Jesus. Jews, you know, Jews are the enemy of Jesus. The Jews took up stone again to stone him. Jesus answered to them, many good works have I showed you from my father. For which of those works do you stone me? This is the language of the Bible. Father means metaphorically, not literal father in language. He said like, like Rab, Lord. So Jesus said, answer, many good works have I showed you from my father. For which of those works do you stone me? When Jesus said, I and my father are one. So Jews took up stones and started stoning at him. These Jews, you understand the Jews? They could understand the simple statement, I and my father are one. So the Jews took up stones and started stoning at him. So G Jesus said, many works that I have shown you from my father, which of the works you are stoning me? So Jews answered in John 10, 33, the Jews, the enemy of the Jesus Christ, the Jews answered him saying, for good works we stone thee not, but for blasphemy and because of that thou being a man makest thyself God you understand now so this when Jesus said I and my father are one the Jews start stoning him and they say that you are making you are a man you are claiming divinity God you are saying that I am God I am asking when any man if I say I and my father are one does it mean I am claim, saying I am God in which language? In any language of the world. If anybody say, I and my father are one. So anybody can say that I am claiming in God. Am I saying I am God? So Jews are the enemy because they hook and crook wanted to reject Jesus Christ. By hook and crook. They wanted to reject Jesus Christ by saying that you are a man and you are blaspheming and you are saying that you are God. So these Jews basically are influencing the Christians. They are saying the very same thing. But they are not stoning physically, but they are saying the same thing and stoning Jesus Christ psychologically. Because he is hurting Jesus Christ because he never said that I am God. He never said that I am God, I am telling you. In, according to the Quran on, the day, on that day, the answer is there. But still, people are saying the Christian world that he said that I am God he never said that it is a charge a false charge of the Jews in the Bible over the over Jesus Christ it is a false charge you can see the false he said I and my father are one he didn't say I am God but the Jews took up stones and started stoning the Jesus said many many works did I showed you from my father for which stone for why are you stoning me why are you hitting me what did I do wrong so they say, no, you are a man, you are claiming God. Well, when did he say that I am God? He never said that. So this charge is accepted by the Christian. He was entitled to be a God. If you ask a Christian and discuss, he say he never said it, but he, he was entitled to be a God. So it is just here. It is in his mind. It is not written in the book. It is not even written in the Bible. Is not written, it is the it is the charge of the Jews onto Jesus that he was claiming divinity, a false charge put on Jesus, and you are taking that false charge as truth that Jesus said, I am God. You understand this? So you are also following the footsteps of Jews, not Jesus. Because Jesus never said, I am God. He said, I and my father are one. In what? If I say, if I look, look you are asking me about my personality, suppose, and I said, I and my wife go together. I, we are in we are in one so in that context in works whatever God because in the Bible says I Bible says in Bible Jesus said I cast out devils by the Spirit of God I cast out devils by the Spirit of God I do my many mighty things with the Spirit of God so whatever God says 
I follow in the Bible. I'm talking of the Bible. So Jesus was saying, I and my father are one in the context that I, whatever God says, father says to me, I do that. So in that context, I and my father are on one frequency or wavelength. Or one frequency or one wavelength. He was not said, I am God. It was a false charge of the Jews over Jesus. And the, the Christians are taking that as literal. No, he was entitled to say that I am God. You cannot understand. Anyway. So one, one, one uh, school of thought, the Protestant world is mentioned in the Bible in one verse. Now further in Al-Maida 573 Without doubt those who reject say Surely Allah God is one of the three in a trinity And there is no God except one God if they do, did not stop about what they say, definitely, de definitely a painful punishment will touch the rejecters among them. The Christian faith according to Bible, 1 John 5, for there, there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. Now in the, in, in, in the context is, the, the Quran says that there are people in the world who reject Jesus Christ as the true personality which we have discussed they say that Allah is a part of a trinity Father, Son and Holy Ghost Father is God, Son is Jesus Christ and Holy Ghost is Spirit, Rul Qudus Jibreel if you join them then there is one God so the Father is God and the Son is God and the Holy Ghost is God but they are not three gods the Christians say this for there are three that bear record in the heaven the Father the Word and the Holy Ghost and these three are one now the word I don't know the word they translate is the word as Jesus Christ so if you look in the uh, uh, the Bible so this verse they, if you ask the te teacher or preacher of the Christians they say look the Father is God the Son is also God and the Holy Ghost is also God but they are not three God don't say three God this one God so this is a part of a trinity so Allah is saying without doubt those who reject say Allah is one of the trinity in the three Allah is one and they are saying trinity and they are saying no, don't say trinity this is one God because Allah stop it it says stop it without doubt there is no God except one God if they did not stop about the what they say a definitely a painful punishment will touch the rejectors among them and no wonder this biblical verse is thrown by the revised standard of the version of the Bible this verse this verse for God yeah, this one for, for this uh, 1 John 5 7 in the revised standard version of the Bible new versions are coming on now new version they learn from the Quran and they throw out verses Terrified. Believe me, I'm not lying to you. You can find out from the Revised Standard Version of the Bible. You will not find this verse. It's not there. Then other Revised Standard, like somebody, Amadida spoke and about that, then they brought it again. So they're taking out, sometimes they're taking in. So this is going on. So there is no one single Bible authentic like one Quran. There are many, many versions of the Bible. In some versions, you will not find this verse. And in some versions, there you'll find this verse. The older edition or the new edition. But they are taking out also. We are, I'm saying this. So Allah says, painful punishment will be on them if you say Allah is a part of a trinity. So Allah says, stop. If you do not stop, a painful punishment will be on the rejectors. So again, th this is a, another concept of the Christian world. Trinity is in the Quran. Same, there is a concept of God as Masih is in the Quran. Now another point, Maryam 90, another concept. وَقَالُوا تَخَذَ الرَّحْمَانُ وَلَدَ Surah Maryam 19 88 to 92 and they said most gracious that is Allah has taken a son without doubt you have come with a horrible thing at it the skies are ready to burst from it the earth to split asunder 
and the mountains fall down in destruction that they call a son for most gracious that is Allah and it is not the desire for most gracious Allah that he should take a son now again St. John I am reading again with the Bible compares the Christian faith according to the Bible St. John 3 verse 16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have, a, have a everlasting life I think most of the Christians you know there, there is always one or two verse popular everywhere this verse is popular among the Christian world and this is for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever beneath believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life What is the result? What is the theory by, by producing this theory that God so loved the world? So what happened? Nothing? So this is all concoction. I mean you love the world to slaughter your own son as tafla if it if it's supposed to be your son. Can any person do this? Can I am asking that you love this all wrongdoings of all mankind and you slaughter your son? Is this logic? Astaghfirullah. So this is this doesn't make sense at all. So that is why Allah reacts, strongly reacts. They said, most gracious Allah has taken a son, they say. Without doubt you have come with a horrible thing. At it the skies are ready to burst from it. And the earth to spin asunder. And the mountains fall down in destruction. If these skies and earth has feelings, it will happen like that. That you are uttering a word is the most horrible. Because you don't understand the concept what is God? What is Allah? You don't understand that they call a son for most gracious? It is not desirable for Allah most gracious to have a son. Not possible. It's not desirable. It is not the attributes of Allah. Above hundred attributes he has. Qahar, Jabbar, Rahman. Not father. Ab. Not walad. The son. This is the human uh, Allah made us as creation we created beings why would you Allah you attribute a human creation to Allah no wonder the Christian world the Christian girls are asking if God is father and Jesus is son where we are you male prejudice you people are male prejudice you got one son Jesus that is why they say in the Christian Bible that you worship the husband as you have to worship God look at your preachings Look at your systems. In your Bible, you're teaching your girls to worship your husband. They don't look at, they don't worship you, but the preaching in the Bible is as to worship as you God. Majazi Khuda. Majazi Khuda. Look at that. And this, only one son. 